What's up guys? My name is Brian. Today I have what was supposed to be an unboxing of the Shang Shao Megamix. But it didn't come with a box. So I don't know what to call this. Alright, so here we have the Megaminx without its box. Uh, this is exactly how I received it. It was shipped in one of those in manila envelopes that was lined with bubble wrap. And when I opened up the envelope, this is all that was inside. There was no box, it was just the puzzle sitting loose. Um, so that's all right. one thing that is not good with this puzzle. Another thing is turning. Turning straight off the bat is pretty good, I guess. It's a bit stiff. Corner cutting isn't great. It's maybe half a little QB. Three fourths doesn't work, so I'm gonna go with half. Um, turning isn't bad, but the pieces do catch on each other because the pieces are not actually one piece, but for some reason have this little piece right here that actually comes out of the piece. I'm not sure what the purpose of it is, but for some reason it's not a solid piece and, and when the pieces are moving around they catch on those little bumps and it locks up, and it is pretty annoying. I'm guessing they could be sanded down if you feel like taking your puzzle completely apart. Do that. But, um, this is actually really odd for me because I know some friends who have Shing Shao Mega Mixes, and they sit or theirs off the Amazon page just like I did, and they got their puzzle in a box, and it was much better quality than this. So. Combined with that, and what I've heard on the internet after doing some research, is that 90% of Xing Xiao products are pretty good quality, especially considering how cheap they are. And then the other 10% is a poor quality product. And I'm guessing that this time, I just I was unlucky, unlucky and received a poor quality product. Because I've I had many issues with this. Um, this sticker right here, it's got a hole in the middle of it. Let's see, it was not that orange face, but there was a face that had a appealing sticker. Was it this orange face? I don't know, but um, one of these faces here had an orange, had a, not necessarily an orange, um, it had a sticker peeling. I think it might have been this face actually. Um, and a sticker peeling. And then turning just isn't that great. It's, see right there, block out. Um, it's still fun to solve because Mega Minxes are just fun to solve. They solve just like a 3x3, three three, surprisingly. You solve the first face right here. And then work your way up using corners, edges, corners, edges, all the way up until you have done this entire block right here. Then you have just the top layer left and you use the same algorithms from the seven step with uh, only a minor adjustment to two of them. And it will solve it. I will be uploading a how to solve video pretty soon. But um, my final decision on this puzzle is very disappointed. I'd say four out of ten stars because it didn't come with a box Turn, turning isn't and as good as I was expecting pieces catch stickers aren't good so I'm hoping to and get a uh, die on Mega Minx I hope I'm saying that right if I'm not feel free to, feel free to correct me in the comments below but I'm hoping to get one of those soon because I do really like the Mega Minx and am disappointed that this is not the quality that I had come to expect from Xing Xiao products because many of my other Xing Xiao products such as my 4x4 and 5x5 are quite good. Before I end the video, 
size comparison real fast. It's a bit bigger than a standard size 3x3, but it is a bit smaller than I was expecting. I was expecting a rather large puzzle because it does have 12 sides rather than the 6 of a standard 3x3. I can't really think of much else to say about this puzzle, and I also want to keep this video short because I've noticed that a couple of my unboxing videos have been going over and, or close to 10 minutes. So I'm trying to keep this video short. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and for your support of this channel. It means a lot to me.